Hi, Scorpio. How are you? Good, 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 good. Let's see what the universe has for you. It's early in the morning. That's why my voice is a bit hoarse. All right, Eight of Wands. What's going on? I feel like this reading is going to be all about you, Scorpio. Ooh, ooh. Somebody's regaining their power after some time. Mm. Ooh, self sabotage. Mm. <laughs> What's going on here? Eight of Wands is onslaught, right? A lot coming at you at once. Messages, um, you have to make decisions on the fly. Right. I kind of feel like a lot of people are coming to you, Scorpio, for advice. You are the authority. You help people make decisions. You know, you're the the ruler, the one who dishes out advice and direction and um, basically tell people what to do. For some of you, this could be related to your job or, you know, again, you're the go to person in your group. I really want to say to you, for some of y'all, y'all need to monetize that, right? Start charging your auntie for giving you advice on what to do with that man. You may take a trip soon, right? Maybe a two to three day tr trip. There's a, a, yeah, look at all of this activity. And then with the King of Wands, you have to make a decision, but I feel like some of you are going to self-sabotage. But I can't say that this self-sabotage is wrong. Yeah, look at that, two of cups. Yeah, I feel like you're going to give up something for something that you love. An example, right? And this is a minor example. It's almost like somebody may say to you, oh, ma... Mommy, I want to get you a new puppy. You know, I know since the last one passed away, you know, you've been kind of sad or, you know, I want you to be happy again. And as much as you love puppies, you're like, mm -mm, no, I'm not ready for one. You know, I kind of want to start working out or be more active, take up hiking, right? So you're going to give up one thing for something else that you love. And, and I promise you, y'all know how I feel about this raggedy ass seven of swords but something said to me pull the next card because the next card will give the seven of swords context so i kind of feel like this is almost like being right at the finish line and then pivoting oh queen of wands okay Ooh. Loving what you do. Mm -hmm. Loving being in control and in power. Well, what Scorpio doesn't? Hair flip. Ooh, see what I'm saying? Starting over on a new journey. High Priestess, your intuition is telling you that something is not for you. Yeah. Oh, I love Scorpio's intuition. Sorry, I kicked my tripod. I love our intuition, Scorpio. And Seven of Swords kind of says to me, it's in the 11th hour, right? Um, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Mm. This to me feels like three higher level figures like managers, directors, VP, president. You know what I mean? But you are the uh, king of all rule. Right? You're the king of all kings, the queen of all queens. The non-binary of all non-binaries. Somebody's going to try to convince you, though. Passion, right? Um, motivation, drive. Yeah, something is tugging at your passion right now. 
whatever this is okay that makes sense this to me also kind of feels like oh you know after high school instead of going right to college you want to go backpacking through europe europe or canada or south america and somebody's going to try and convince you but i feel with the king of wands and the queen of wands you're pretty set in your decision you it's almost like that passion whatever that is inside of you that's bubbling and burning it's almost like sorry i can't ignore this interesting interesting i also feel like the high priestess with the seven of swords it's almost like your intuition is co-signing this self-sabotage or this sabotage let's say that I don't think it's a self-sabotage because I really do feel like this 11 hour decision you're making Scorpio, you're making it for you. So, and it's not necessarily going against you, which is self-sabotage. I feel like whatever it is that you're about to sabotage, sabotage, maybe a better word is manipulate, right? You're about to switch up on somebody or something, but I feel like it still benefits you which again is why I wouldn't classify it as self-sabotage. Ten of Swords, yeah. You may be you may be dodging a bullet. Wow. You may be dodging a bullet. Very interesting. Because there could be something you don't see. Ooh. ooh. My angels just said, well, if you don't leave now, you may leave eventually. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go high priestess king of swords so you're making this decision with your mind and intuition which i absolutely love right you're including both your logical mind and your intuitive body but you full and angel says yes darling yes another king yeah you know something my angels just said okay here we go this is for my Scorpios who either have Aries rising or Aries in their moon placement. You can have Leo rising, Taurus rising, or Aquarius rising. Mm. Mm. This could also be Aquarian North nodes. I get it. Or Aries North nodes or Cancer North nodes. And my angels are giving me the signs, right? Each of these, these cards carry their own Zodiac sign, but my angels are saying, no, this North node or this rising or this moon position. Notice I have Virgo and Taurus and Sag here too, but my angels didn't point to those. So even those selections are divine. Yeah, you're running away from something to do something that you love. And I feel like this new path or new journey is very passionate for you. Um, for a lot of you, again, somebody may t talk, try to talk you out of it. Maybe you're going to go back and forth there. If Knight of Swords to me feels like a lot of dialogue, but I feel like your move is in, a, is in alignment with your destiny. They could try to throw more money at you. They could, um, this is something that you're going to think heavily about, but I really do feel like God Angels Universe is saying, listen, Scorparoo. Yes, Scorpio, do what you love to do. Do what's, what's going to bring you joy. Not only that, but I do kind of feel like you're going to start to receive a lot of messages that are in alignment with whatever this passion project is. I love it. I love it. I love it, Scorpio. Yay. All right. Let's see what else the universe has for you. We have two co-signers. This is almost like God in the physical, right? Like the Hierophant religion. I feel like this is you. This is your inner strength, inner power. This is something you're going to think about and you want to do not only what's best for you, but also what's best for your heart and what's going to make you happy, which is also represented here by the two of cups. It's almost like the universe saying to you, yeah, Scorpio, do, do, it's okay in this particular situation to do what you love not what what others may expect of you with the king of swords and the two of cups that to me is again that mind heart balance because you with the heart the hermit here you're thinking about this you're weighing and balancing right two of pentacles 
hermit and also the temperance. Whatever this is, you have thought about it carefully and meticulously. Scorpios, don't forget to join us this Saturday for our Scorpio Hangout, um, August 19th at 12 p.m. Eastern. The link is in this video's description box. That's my little ad. <laughs> All right, angels. Seven of Wands, yeah. I feel like for a lot of you guys, that message about doing what you want versus what's expected of you, y'all are tired and sick of that shit. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you tired of everybody else getting paid and getting full and you sitting over there with crackers. <laughs> I also feel like you're going to be firm. Once you make your mind up, baby, that mind is made up. Scorpio, you are one of the, you are a part of the stubborn crew. I also feel like that's represented here with the King of Wands and the King of, Sto King of Swords. Those are both stubborn and head heavy kings. Meaning when they made their mind up, man, listen, you couldn't dynamite, you know, put a stick of dynamite next to them to get them to change their minds. No, mm-mm. The full card, something that's youthful and young and carefree. And you know what? I'm just going to say this because I feel it. I feel like for a lot of you, you may be rejecting the conventional and um, taking on the unconventional. Another way I can say that is, you know what? Instead of working your eight to five, you know, the work in the job that you went to school for, you hold a degree in. No, you're going to reject that and paint, right? You're going to reject that and travel. You're going to reject that and create content on YouTube. Ooh, second seven, second seven, third seven. Nice. Uh, make sure you figure out, look, it's going to make you happy. Seven of pentacles here. Make sure you're, um, and, and again, I feel like you are with the hermit. I was going to say, make sure you're looking at look, look, looking at your passion project from all different angles. Not only that, but with the seven of pentacles, I feel like if you plant the seeds in the right locations, you could um, receive your own harvest. Six of pentacles to me almost feels like uh, that conventional position, throwing money at it. Oh, we want Scorpio. We'll give her more, give him more money. Scorpio's like, eh. I don't know if I want to give you my time. I mean, the money is cool, but I don't know if I want to give you my time. Knight of Cups. Angels are saying here, who's the owner of those seeds that you will sow in the future, right? In other words, Scorpio, are you planting seeds for yourself or are you allowing someone to plant seeds on your behalf? Or plant seeds that will benefit them. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, six of pentacles, six of pentacles. Ten of swords. There are some of you guys who are going to consider this conventional path. And I feel like within six to seven months of on this conventional path, it's going to, it's going to weigh you down. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Angels just said to me, tantrum. Three of Wands and Star card. Yeah, it's um, mm, the Star card. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is saying follow your dreams, right? That you know, this to me is almost like the road less traveled, right? The the um the unconventional path. Angels are saying, is it the path of least resistance? And then another angel says, nope, but it's the path of most happiness. Nice. Yeah, this to me, uh, it feels like work related or some sort of creative project, your business. This doesn't feel personal, like a personal reading. Um, it just kind of feels like you are deliberating. You are um, going within, connecting with spirit, um, trying to use your intuition to try to figure out the next path, next journey, next option. Right now, it kind of feels like you're going back and forth. For some of you, you're hella 
overwhelmed. You're very overwhelmed. And for a lot of you who are overwhelmed, overwhelmed and that you've been kind of mulling this over, thinking this, overthinking this within yourself, Angel said, don't be afraid to th uh, talk to somebody else. Y'all ever notice that strangers give you like your best advice, right? Because they're unbiased. They don't know you. They're just using pure logic. Hey, two plus two is four. If I were you, I would just do this. Or they're using their intuition. Follow your heart. Follow your gut. I mean, would, would you think God put you here for to deposit those checks in that account until you die? You, ooh, child. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I feel like you hold the power here, Scorpio. And the and I I don't I don't think, right? I don't have tons of major arcanas here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have a significant amount. But I also have a significant amount or eight. Okay. I also have a significant amount of court cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so eight majors and seven courts. So it's um, the reason why I was counting those out is because I, I was going to say, it doesn't feel like the universe is riding your back to make the right decision, right? doesn't feel like the universe has a strong vested interest. And as I pick this up, the strength card. So finding the strength to be vulnerable, finding the strength to stand out, finding the strength to do what's best for you. But going back to what I was saying, and I apologize for jumping around, I don't feel like this is, you know, the universe beating you over the head saying, go left, go left, Scorpio, go left. No. I feel like this is being left up to you and saying, listen, you know, bump that. Do what's best for you, my G. <laughs> right? Yeah, so what other messages do we have for Scorpio? We got seven on the eight, the nine of cups. I really do feel like the universe is saying, listen, listen, think with your head, but bring your heart, follow your heart, but bring your head. Y'all notice that I have balance here, right? With the temperance card. Um, the two of cups is balanced. The two of pentacles is balanced. The knights, knight of cups, knight of, of swords go back and forth, right? Cause you're going back and forth and the star card here is, you know, she has those two jugs. Okay. So I kind of feel like balance. There's an under, there's a theme here of balance as in, you know, I have the six of pentacles twice as in weigh and balance, use your heart and your mind. That's one form of balance. Second form of balance is use your mind and your, your intuition. The third part of, uh, part of balance is, you know, um, in include the universe, right? You're making this decision from a physical level, right? 3D human self, but you're also making this decision on a spiritual level as well, especially with the full card here. So the, uh, the underlying theme of this reading is Scorpio. I think from a universal standpoint, it doesn't really matter what the decision is. The, the real clue here or the real um, key here is are you making this decision from a balanced standpoint? Oh, very nice. Um, Angel said, pull this card. Oh, Hierophant. See what I'm saying? So I have the high, the high Priestess, the Hierophant, and the Star card. This is something that's big. This is something that's huge. It's sacred is what I just heard. Uh, the emperor here, remember, emperor is always my God card. The hierophant to me is religion. It's physical spirituality. Physical spirituality to me is religion. Um, the high priestess is energetic, energetic, cosmic, ethereal um, spirituality, right? It's the essence of who we all are. The star card represents that as well as in, you know, it's your time to shine. 
and angels are saying one freaking question, Scorpio, just one question and we'll leave you um, in this reading. We'll do monology, but one question. Can you shine on your conventional path or do you need to shine on the unconventional path, which is going to bring you the most joy, right? Which, which one are you going to feel the most seen, right? Which one is a part of your goals and your dreams, the conventional or non-conventional? Bring love into the situation. Again, don't make this a head heavy decision. Y'all just saw that reading. Mm -mm. Communication is key. Remember Angel said, talk to somebody. Plus somebody's gonna try and talk you out of or talk you into a decision. The energy is gaining momentum. Nice, that eight of wands. There is, I feel like there is a sense of urgency here but the urgency is not related to time. The urgency is related to, well, damn, when am I ever going to be happy? So the urgency is related to your happiness. It's not a linear time thing, right? It's like, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing what everybody else wants. I want to just do something for me. That one fell off. A fiery climax approaches. I mean, you got all this fire energy. Eight of Wands, nine of, uh, Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Page of Wands, uh, Three of Wands. Um, you have a lot of fiery energy here, Scorpio. So I feel like this absolutely has to do with your next steps, your next, your next path, the next path in your destiny. And for some of you guys, again, Chariot, I don't feel like you're going to make the wrong decision. I think, again, just make sure whatever decision you make, it's balanced. Okay, last card. I can't make this up. I got to go. I got to go. Balance spirituality and practicality. You saw me holding it in my hand, but my view was over here. So I didn't, I didn't look at the card. I ain't got to explain myself. Anyway, Scorpio Road. Balance, baby. Balance. Make sure whatever decision that you make, you weigh and balance, right? For some of you, you get your Libra on, your inner Libra on, which is the justice card, which, you know, kind of goes to or speaks to the balance. Also get your Sagittarian on, okay? Which is temperance, which is again, weighing and balancing. All right, my lovely Scorpio. I hope to see you guys Saturday. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I love you babies. Bye.